Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ivy Aku. And to my old subscribers, thank you all so, so much for always coming back. It's soon going to be Valentine's Day as we all know. And I'm already feeling the spirit of love in the air. So in that same spirit, I'm going to be doing a very, very simple and beginner friendly Valentine's Day look for you all. Do not go anywhere. Keep watching. So I'm going to begin by applying first my Cetaphil moisturizer on top of my face to moisturize my face and I'm going to leave that for some for about three minutes to let it dry so I'm going to be going with my Rimmel Tape Match Primer I'm going to apply that especially on my T-zones on the areas where I get oily the most Next, I'm going to be going in with my NYX Can't Stop Wound Stop Foundation. A little bit of that. To conceal my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I'm going to apply that on the high points of my face. I'm going to blend that out. I'm starting from the outer corners and going in so the concealer wouldn't mess up the other part. To set those highlighted areas, I'm going to be using my Blossom High Definition Setting Powder. Contour, I'm going to be going into my Zipel palette and I'm going to use a dark shade. I'm going to be using this fluffy brush to contour my nose. Next, I'm going to be applying my blush. I'm going to take a little bit of dark red. I'm going to take a little bit of my setting powder again. And I just further define my nose contour. And I use the excess to bake the other part where I apply my highlight. Next, I'm going to go into my Maybelline to Stay finishing powder and I just go ahead and set the other part of my face which Next, I'm going to move into the brows. First, I'm going to brush that all off. I'm going to take a little bit of got to be gel using my spoolie, just a little bit, and I use that to brush off my brow. Now my brows are already slid down. I'm just going to go in with my eye pencil and fill in the spare area. First, I'm going to draw a light line down, pulling my natural brow line. And then I'm going to draw another line up, but I'm going to be starting very far away from the area where my eyebrow actually starts to go. I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to fill in the areas where there's a little bit of space. I'm going to start by filling it out. And then I'm going to be going in again with my concealer. I would like to get to know what you could be. What kind of girl that you could be down for? So, onto my eyeshadow, I'm going to be 
doing something really really simple so first I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer on top of my eye lids Then I'm going to go into my African Queen palette. I'm going to be using this dark brown shade to create my transition color. And then I'm going to drag that right down. And next, I'm going to take a little bit of cutting powder and just set the upper part of my brow so it shouldn't get oily I'm going to continue again with my eyeshadow I just keep insisting because I want the dark brown shade to be really really beautiful to smoke that out I'm going to be using a lighter shade and I apply that on top of my brow bone and I just blend the two together to form a smooth and nice transition Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and just apply that sparingly on top of my eyelids For my crease color, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Truben Minerals Loose uh, Pigment it's in a brown shade, it's in the shade brown. I'm going to apply that on top of the area where I put the concealer. Next, I'm going to go in with a lighter brown shade. I apply that at this uh, outer corner and I blend that into the color to create an ombre effect. Next, I'm going to go in again into my finishing powder and just dust off all the excess powders. Next, I'm going to apply my Ezekiel setting spray all over my face. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I'm now going to go in with my lashes. So for my lips, firstly I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. This is to make the lip color pop. I'm going to be going in for a red lipstick. As you all know, it's a Valentine's Day inspired look, and red is the universal color of Valentine's Day. Okay, guys, so this is the finish and the final look. As you can see, it's a really, really simple yet sophisticated look because, you know, red lips has a way of bringing a lot of class and sophistication into every look you try. The eyeshadow is just really simple. There's nothing really much going on. It's kind of a nude look. But if you want to modify it, you could add some glitters around here or here, anyhow you want it. This look is perfect both for a day and a night outing. So we've come to the end of this video. Happy Valentine's Day in advance to you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button right down below if you haven't. Thank you once more and see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.